2 Ezra chapter 9 verse 1 and it reads he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shall thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning first and foremost I want to give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the bible <clears throat> peace blessings and safety to all you sincere occupants keep pushing keep believing keep the faith regardless of people here for a bear man and the lord made it so easy for us to do a lesson man <laughs> i mean we got the computer we got the screen we got the scriptures hey man let's, let's get to it man the lord said we're supposed to be measuring the time man he said earthquakes and uproars of the people let's get that definition for uproar the Lord said uproars of the people in the world not just cross it's everywhere now man let's get it let's get uproar right quick bring it out right quick these are all some of the tall tale signs of our Lord and Savior coming back right uproar uproar a loud and passionate noise or disturbance disorder turmoil mayhem havoc all hell breaking loose you, you see that going there man all these people protesting shit millions of people shit what was it a couple of million people quit their job last month and a couple of million people quit their job this month people all in the streets protesting so forth and so on. the lord said look you gonna truly know if you if you're paying attention to the signs you're gonna truly know that we're at the end of an age sleazy e esau edom is the end of an age is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that follows that's when the transition of power is real a public expression of protest or outrage look when you got millions of people just walking off the damn job like i don't give a damn you see i don't want your juice me, look, look, me, not four five people me millions of people have quit their job man people don't give a damn no more a public expression or protest or outrage an outcry People are fed up with the government, man. And look, and the Lord said, these are some of the tall tale signs of me coming back. Le these are some of the signs leading up to me coming back. So let's get it again. Second answer, because we're supposed to be measuring the time, right? It's a time and a place for every purpose under the heaven. We're going to see if we can get that too. And look, and look, Israel, it ain't going to get no better, right? It ain't going to get no better. Look, look, you prepare, you prepare, you somewhere right now shopping for a turkey. You know. All in it, all in the damn mall, spending all your money. You ain't got shit. There's people out there that ain't got no damn job, and a little bit of money that they do got that they get from somebody, they'll go out there and spend that. You people are sick in the head, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And once again, how do you, and look, this scripture right here gonna come out more and more, more and more. The closer and closer we get, and I'm saying the closer and closer we get to the the closer I get to you. The closer that we get to the end of Sleazy E's rulership, you're gonna see this scripture coming out pretty much every day. The Lord said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. How do you how do you measure time? With the scriptures. You link up whatever is going on in the earth with the scriptures. You say, Oh yeah, oh, so, so we must be living in that time. Okay. Okay, the Lord said, watch out for these signs, watch out for this, watch out for that. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. Oh, yeah, look, look, it's almost time. It's almost time. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, let's get some of the signs. Now we got we got some of them. Let's get some more of them though. Let's get some more of the signs. Let's go to St. Matthew. Let's 
Let's go to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Some of the signs. We just read some of the signs, earthquakes in diverse places. Let's get this though, St. Matthew 24. We're just going to get some of the signs. Verse 6. These are some of the signs now. That we're supposed to be looking for, right? And, and ye share, St. Matthew 24 and 6, and ye share here wars and rumors of wars. These are some of his tall tale signs. You're going to see wars probably more than a little bit. More than what you used to seeing. Okay? Because you know people going to come on the comment board. Well, we always seen war always happen. You see? We always heard of rumors of wars. Not like this time though. That means you're not measuring the time. If you're saying that, you must not be measuring the time, man. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it's, you can't stop the inevitable. Wars are going to pop off, right? Wars are going to pop off. Uh, wars of the people are going to pop off. Earthquakes are going to pop off, right? For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, class wars, civil wars, race wars, economic woes, the rich against the poor, all that is happening. And then kingdom against kingdom, you got these different countries hating these other countries, man. You see? Once before allies are hating each other now. You see? Countries that used to agree with each other don't agree with each other anymore. Why? Because the scripture says the love of many shall wax cold. These are some of the tall tale signs to be looking out for. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes, look, whether it's a man-made famine or not, a famine is a famine, a lack of food, a lack of resources, right? And pestilence and earthquakes, look, more earthquakes. And earthquakes in diverse places, man. Okay? And then it's going to say, tribulation never seen before is going to come upon the face of earth. So let's go back. Because those are some of the signs, right? Let's go back. Second Ezra the ninth chapter. Let's go on, right on back. We're right on back already. Second Ezra chapter 9. Let's get three again. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes, but the only thing I people want to do is watch Stole Train, go to the club, go to these stupid, you know what I'm saying, demonic concerts. When the scriptures tell us to measure down the time, then shit, you got people, all kind of folly, is going, foolishness is at an all time high right about now. All you got on the earth right about now is a bunch of fools, a bunch of blockheads, a bunch of meatballs, just, just, just walking around. Z zombified out man therefore well, look look well, look the lord told us to, to watch as well as pray right therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world we're, we're seeing that we're seeing that more than a little bit let's blow it up a little bit more than a little bit right it says then shall thou well understand that the most high speak of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The Lord is making it clear, making it known that we're in the end of this place, man. Oh shit, over there in Ecuador, no, so what was it like 60, 68 people just died in a prison over there in Ecuador? It's going down, up doors of the people. Everybody is in an uproar right about now, man. Let's get that, let's get that Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, right quick. Everybody is in an uproar. Like I mentioned through the spirit, man, you got millions of people each month leaving their job like the hell with it, man. I don't want, I don't want your Kool-Aid. Ecclesiastes chapter three. Verse one and it reads, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It's like you got winter, spring, summer, fall. Can, can you start winter from coming? Hell, can you start spring from coming? Can you stop summer from coming? No. So you sure enough ain't gonna be able to stop war from coming. You sure enough ain't gonna be able to stop destruction from coming. You can't stop earthquakes from coming. You can't stop uproars of the people from coming. Cause the time for all of these things, man. Let's just, just, just jump down. Just jump right on down. A time to love. Uh, look, look, once again, are you measuring the time diligently? Because if you are, then you know we're not in the time of love. A time of hate. 
in a time of hate that you already know if you measure in time you already know most definitely we're living in a time of hate ain't nobody getting along there's, the Lord, the Lord said He came to bring division. Ain't nobody getting along right about now, except for the whole for that. A time to hate and a time to and a time of war. Th those are the times that we're living in right about now. The time of hate and a time of war. If you're measuring the time diligently, that's why I say it's high time to wake out of sleep. And a time of peace, man. We're, we're not living in peace either. Let's get this. Lord got me thinking about this because I'm just flowing in the spirit. It's from um, First Thessalonians chapter five. First Thessalonians chapter five. One. But of the times and seasons, do we just read about that? But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Just like nobody ain't got to tell you when summertime is here. Nobody ain't got to tell you when winter time is here, right? Nobody ain't got to tell you when it's raining Right Because you can discern it right Just like you should be able to discern What time it is when you see all these things going on Are you not watching the news In the news You're supposed to be watching the news Keeping up with current events Looking outside your door What's going on in the backyard but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because you're measuring the time diligently. You're measuring the time diligently, right? Let's get Ephesians right quick. Let's get Ephesians. Look, you, you walk in circumspectly. You're not walking around like a fool. Let's get this. Matter of fact, before I even get that, since I, since I made that statement, let's get this right quick. And I'm going to come right back. Let's go right back to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter. I'm going to come right back. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, all that partying, dancing, drinking, partying, clubbing every damn night. For that is the end of all men. Once again, I'm going to go to that Ephesians. The fifth chapter tells us to walk circumspectly, not as fools. Only a fool would be thinking about partying his ass off each and every night, man. With everything that's going on, martial law about to pop off. They're passing all these different laws and things of that nature. Our, our people don't know what the hell is going on. That's why the scripture says it's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Do you not see all these people quitting their jobs? But you, only thing you can do is party. Jobs are closing down by the day. People are just getting X'd out of their job, man. No, I don't want that Kool-Aid. Once again, millions of people are losing their jobs. Well, millions of people are quitting their jobs. They need, they, they quitting their jobs more than losing their jobs. But oh yeah, people want to go to the house of feasting though, right? Everything is party. It's party. It's party time, right? For that is the end of all men. That's when you get caught off guard. Because you're not watching. Scripture say, look, I shouldn't have to write unto you what time it is. Look, this is the time to seek the Lord. Who's bringing all these things, might I add? And the living will lead to the heart. Look, once you have been quickened with this word, you have been made alive once again. Because it says the living will lead to his heart. The majority of our people are spiritually dead. They don't know what the hell going on. You see? Let's go to four. The heart meaning the mind of the wise, the prudent, is in the house of mourning. But the heart meaning the mind of fools is in the house of mercy. And the scriptures tell us the, the, the prudent man foreseeth the evil. And hide of himself, a prudent man, a wise man, foreseeth the evil. Look, look, he, he heard the prophecy. He heard somebody tell him, look, it's going to get bad out here. And look, look, and before it even happened, I'm saying, he took heed to it. And so as the scripture tells us, a wise man will hear. Let's read this again. The heart meaning the mind of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart meaning the mind of fools. Of fools, man, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses. Is in the house of Murph, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's get fool right quick. Let's get a definition for the word fool. Let's see if it fits the majority of these people. It's on the earth right about now. Let's get that. I want to get that. Let's get that. Look, fool. 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 A person who acts unwisely or imprudently, a silly person, an idiot, 
That's the majority of these people walk around the earth, man. They don't know what the hell going on. Fools, man. Blockheads, look, blockheads, meatball, jackass, dumbbell. I'm saying a nitty, dumbo, moron, simpleton. Look, how long will you simple ones love simplicity and the scorner delight in that scorning and fools hate knowledge, right? Noodle. Just the zombie. The majority of these people are zombies, man. Let's click on click on zombie right quick. Let's see what zombie saying. Nah, we don't want zombie. But our people in a zombified state right about now though. They are in a zombified state. Let's see. What else? Just foolish and silly. You get the logistics of it. Let's go back to the scripture. Once again, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Uh, is the only thing on your mind is partying? Well, you, you look, look, you're you going to see what it is in a few. I want to go back to Ephesians. Let's go back to Ephesians right quick. Let's see. Yep. Ephesians chapter 5. You see it. Ephesians chapter 5. Go straight to the point. 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Supposed to be looking around. Nobody shouldn't have to keep telling you over and over and over again what time it is. You should be watching. Walking circumspectly, man. Looking around. Paying attention to what's going on. See the energy you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. Because look, it's only going to get worse, Israel. It's only going to get worse, Israel. Redeeming the time. Look at the word time again. Look at that word time again. Because the days are evil, man. All right? The days are evil, meaning what? It ain't going to get no better. It ain't going to get no better, Israel. What is that? Um, Let's see. I just want to get quick one quick scripture right here. It's second Ezra chapter 8. Verse 3. There'll be many created, but few shall be saved. Those, those are the times that we're living in. Uh, many billions of, of people on the face of the earth. But few shall be saved, man. That's why we gotta walk circumspectly, not as fools redeeming the time because the days are evil. Few people are gonna get saved. The majority of these people gonna die a horrible death, man. The majority of these people gonna die a horrible death, man. I mean horrible. Second Ezra the 14th chapter. Let's see. A whole lot of people gonna die soon come man. Once again over there in Ecuador, you know what I'm saying? You got all them people, you know what I'm saying, that died in that prison. Yeah, you got millions of people walking off the job. Come on, man. Let's see. I'm going to start at 15. Second Ezra chapter 14. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto the paying bills. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature, right? And haste thee to flee from these times, man. We hasten the day, man. It's getting to get bad out here, man. Straight up, man. We constantly pray for the Lord to have it become. Remember, I quoted uh, St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 21. Great tribulation shall come upon the earth, upon you people. Those who never seen before, right? It says, um, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall happen. So like it shall be done hereafter. Now, brothers, they went back to watching the Terminator movies and the Matrix movie, man. You, you saw what was going on on those movies. The believers of the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was being persecuted, was being rounded up. I'm saying it was being sought after. People was trying to kill him. It's look, look, greater evils are coming, Israel. This devil get ready to come in with great rap. Right, you look, you, you ain't even measuring the time, though, right? You ain't even measuring the time for yet greater evils, meaning more bad times. But the Lord told us, don't when you see all these things, don't worry. Be not troubled. The Lord told the whole for elect, don't be troubled, man. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Because remember, all these things were created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. The, the spirits created for vengeance was created for the wicked, man. All right? It says, um, for look how much 
the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. And our people ain't even walking circumspectly. They're walking around like fools, just not knowing them. Say that evils, meaning bad times, are increasing upon the earth, meaning it ain't going to get no better. Evils and only evils, behold, is coming. Is that Ezekiel? Let's get that. I'm going to get that last. I'm going to get one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. Matter of fact, I'm going to get two. I'm going to get Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7 Ezekiel chapter 7 Let's see Yeah Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 5 Thus saith the Lord Yahweh But Hashem Yahweh Shai In evil meaning bad times And only evil meaning more bad times Behold it's come An end is come An end is come An end of an age It watches for thee Behold it is come man Alright the end of an age, we're at the end of Sleazy E's age, man. All right? And look, it's going to go out with a bang, man. Listen to this. 25. Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. That's what the majority of the people on the face of the earth are seeking. Peace. And there shall be now. Why? Because evils and only evils, behold, is come. You see? Evils and only evils behold has come Israel. It's gonna be more earthquakes, it's gonna be more storms, it's gonna be more uproars of the people. It's gonna be more violence, it's gonna be more chaos. Cause that's what the scripture said. Look, look, and, and look, and don't and Terry, wait for it. That, that's what the scripture said. Don't and Terry, wait for it. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Remember, Israel, all these things gotta happen. Revelation chapter 12. All these things got to happen. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe meaning destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, sleazy either deceiver, that's what the word devil means, deceiver, the elite banking families, right? It's come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. A short time to do what? Rule, man. That's why we're supposed to be measuring the time diligently, man. You see? The devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath because he knows that he have but a short short time. Remember um, Operation Warp Speed? They, they ain't say that out. They ain't say that for nothing. And then they got the um they got the NASA program. They got the um, the, the NASA military. You see, they got the military on for the NASA, right? But it's, it's, it's giving a show enough go down, man. Spark, Spark's going to fly show enough, man. Romans is my last one. Romans 13 and 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11, and it reads, And that, knowing the time, remember we're dealing with time. And that, knowing the time. Should have to keep writing up to you what time it is. You should already be, you should already know. If you're watching, you should already know what time it is. This is the time to seek the Lord. All this hell breaking loose, and it's only going to get worse. It says, Greater evils. Remember, Israel, greater evils than the things that we're seeing now should happen, man. Poverty, uh, widowhood, famine, uh, all of the above, man. That, that's, that's what's fastly approaching. That shit is here now, shit. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Wake your ass up. For now is our salvation nearer than when we would leave, man. Cause cause at the same time you got destruction, you got you got salvation too. A whole lot of people are gonna be destroyed and killed. But then you got that small remnant, you know what I'm saying? Which which believe in Yahweh by Shimia Shai, they're gonna be saved, man. All right, remember, salvation near to what we believe, man. You know, it, look, look, you got to know what time it is, man. All right? Oh, yeah, and the scriptures tell us, um, what is that, St. Luke? Watch as well as pray. Let's get, uh, I, I finish off on that. I will. The Lord want me to get that, so, I, so we'll get that. St. Luke 21. St. Luke 21. You see it. St. Luke 21. And let's see. Let's see. Let's 
wissen. We'll get it. We'll start at 26. St. Luke 21 and 26. Men's hearts, meaning their mind fell in there for fear. Because all hell going to break loose. People are going to be scared to death, man. People are going to be giving up the spirit, man. So it's going to get so bad out here. People are going to be seeking death. You can read that in Revelation. I think it's the ninth chapter. People are going to be seeking death. No saying, but death going to flee from them, man. You know what I mean? You have to go through it, man. Men's heart fell in them for fear. And, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken let me see and then and then shall they see the son of man Lord Yahweh shall come in, in a cloud in a chariot with power and great glory you see man look man hey look it's coming man and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of night with, with the, the Lord linking it all up. We, we remember we just read it's high time to awake out of sleep with salvation there and we believe. We, you see the Lord crack the clouds, lift your head up because redemption draw of night, right? Let's jump down now. It's going to jump down. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is something I read earlier. <clears throat> well, circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. It's better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting, right? 34. St. Luke 21, 34. And take heed to yourselves. Examine yourself, right? At least at any time, your heart, look, they're going to go time again. At least at any time, your heart, meaning your mind, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness. In that, in that party spirit, that careless, that living a careless life type of spirit, right? And drunkenness and the cares of this life and so that that day come upon you unaware, meaning you ain't paying attention no more. You ain't watching, you ain't praying. We gotta constantly watch, gotta constantly pray, man. So that day won't come upon us unaware, right? It says, oh, listen, 35. It says, for a snare, which is a trap, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth, on the face of the whole earth. Why? Because they ain't watching. They ain't paying attention to the signs, right? It's going to come upon them as a snare. Not for the ones that's watching. That thief. Watch ye therefore and pray always. So we're watching. We're most definitely praying always that, that ye may be accounted worthy. That we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Meaning they're going to come. Everything that I've read according to the Bible is going to come to pass. And things that ain't even written, the Lord bring it, man. And to stand before the Son of Man. That's what we pray. Lord, wonder when the Lord crack those clouds, man, we'll be counted worthy to get delivered up, man, and being up in that chariot before this place go up and smoke, man. So I just, I just want to do something quick through the spirit of your house. But Shemel Shai, Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. Just, just keep keep measuring the time, man. Measure the time. Keep measuring the time, Israel. Shalom.